So, Nightwing number two. <laughs> okay. A lot of people were bitching about Grayson, but and so we got this back. I'm not even gonna go into that, but I miss it. And this, okay, this, I, I really, I really don't want to bitch about stuff. I want to say positive things. There's nothing wrong with these new issues. Totally. I mean, I'm looking forward to them every Wednesday, like everyone else's. Number two, starting off, not looking good, Bruce. Why are they putting Bruce in this light? They're, they're doing this Batman's kind of meme thing, but um, newsflash, we already knew this. <laughs> You know, he's not dad of the year or anything. But first thing I have to say, first of all, is that I love the colors on this these issues. It looks kind of like um, a thorn. You know how like Spanish art kind of has the green and the oranges and stuff? Well, the way this one's so vibrant like this, it reminds me of foreign art. And I was gonna say, I'm really digging it. It's really, really nice. But this sounds a lot like brainwashing. See, he goes to leave and then the Raptor's like, oh, but this is the way Batman did it, right? Like, that is supposed to trigger Dick stain. Like, okay, Dick seems smarter than to fall for this kind of shit. So he's been doing that in the other one, too. Like, he seems kind of younger in these. He looks younger, and he feels younger, and he acts younger. But he's not this dumb to fall for this kind of manipulation. I mean, he's the one that's usually doing it. Why can Raptor smirk so easily and say this? Like, it's enough to keep Dick there. You know, just keep walking. So he's like, oh wow, you have a point. They are similar, so I guess that means I'll listen. Like, it was too easy. I guess his ship's supposed to be impressive. I don't know, I guess Raptor is... <laughs> that doesn't impress me much. I guess if you try to follow up behind Batman, you're gonna have... You're gonna have a lot of work to do, buddy. <laughs> this ship is not impressing me. Are you supposed to... Is this ship supposed to, you know, impress us more than the Batmobile? Like. You're gonna have to work a little bit harder, buddy. Sidekicks in the back. Not a sidekick anymore, okay? And uh, shout out to the shark repellent, by the way. <laughs> I actually love that. I don't know, I guess some people are tired of it, but I, I, it makes me laugh every time it comes up. Oh yeah, one more random piece to add to the effect when uh, Dix is saving Raptor from the shark guy thing, is that when he, when Raptor gets pulled underneath the water, Dick actually thinks, you know, about the fact that he, if he doesn't save him, there's a chance that no one would find out that he could. The pot, there is the possibility that he could just let Raptor die, and I think that's very interesting that he actually thought about this because it's kind of a dark thing to think about, and he barely knows this guy, even though he saves him anyway. The thought did cross his mind that it was a possibility. It reminds me of some other parts that, you know, he sometimes he thinks dark things like this. How when he gets angry or you know betrayed or something, but usually randomly like this he thinks about it like he's the captor yet before anything's happened so i just thought that was kind of weird to throw that out there and this is also more brainwashing right here i have to carry what i need because i'm not much of a planner he says um first of all we know that's not true we've seen him all we've seen him do is tactical move, moves like he acts like he's impulsive and stuff just to get on dick's side and he's like, he's only saying that so Dick will think, you know, wow, maybe he's like me and form this kind of weird brainwashing bond thing. But it's, it's really weird because he's a liar. Just like he says here, hey, I've said that same thing like a hundred times. So he's like, you know, it, it's kind of smart, kind of clever, but it's kind of irritating because it makes Dick look kind of stupid. We know that, okay, Batman is this ultimate guide, right? I mean, he is like the guide. <laughs> but when he turned, he just kind of turned the cold soul to the dick for some reason that I still don't understand. And the dick ran off and now he's clinging to this other guide model looking thing. And I think it's weird that he's doing this kind of just because Batman turned him away. And so, like, he's throwing throwing out all his cautionary stuff just because Batman was kind of a douche at one time. Like a kid rebelling against their dad or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but there's some weird stuff going on here. Again, I love these colors, but I mean, with this comment here, you know, wow, running off to investigate Batman style, but that must be why there's a new Robin every month. What a low blow, and he's not winning any writing points with me so far. <laughs> I'm just saying this. He, I really don't trust this guy. Like, at first, I don't know. I, I, I don't trust this guy. And again, Dick, I mean, he's sitting here derping around these 
this room, you'd think he would notice the big ass monster creeping up behind him. But no, I guess he needs to be saved again, right? It's weird that, um, do I say like too much? <laughs> I feel like I do. Ripped a pretty face. He at Raptor sounds pretty convincing. Oh, you want to take down the owls, right? You want to save people, la la la, just waiting. You think I'm a dick, Well, me too. What a coincidence, you know? <laughs> See, but he's good at this. It's all more manipulating. Like, on the ship, he knew that Dick would be slinking away by himself when he thought that Raptor didn't see. But I'm pretty sure that Raptor noticed. I mean, if he's this big pro and stuff, and his, his mission is to, you know, keep an eye on Dick, of course he's gonna notice if his priority slips away. But he just let it go, just, he just let him go so he could see what he was up to. And then when he found out what he was doing, he, you know, he turned it and he used it to gain his trust a little bit more. But he's smart about it because he's doing it a little bit at a time. And if he tried this one big convincing thing, he knew Dick wouldn't take to it. So, but this small little, feeding him the small little stuff is way more clever. He found out while he was, you know, wondering why the owls wanted the ship and he showed him those refugees and it touched his weakness that he mentioned about his, his kindness and stuff. And now he's using it like, hey, that's what I want too, so you should, that's why you should listen to me. That's some sort of control. I think the owls are just using Raptor to control Dick, basically, and he's just, he's just pretty good at it. And of course, you know, bringing Batman in to compare every chance he gets is kind of like their trigger word. Like, he's using the same way that everyone thinks Batman brainwashed the Robins in Batman and Robin Eternal, even though it's kind of technically the same thing, but he doesn't have the same reason that they follow him, which is the loyalty and the love they follow Batman for. They're, he's just using the same technique that Batman uses without them knowing it. He's just playing off his emotions for Batman. Like, it's a pretty tough situation. <laughs> I'm just really mad that Dick is falling for all this. Just saying. By the way, this whistling word that he keeps using, it always zooms in when he does that. It reminds me of, like, a movie where the bad guy does something, and it zooms in to where it, you kind of it's dramatic irony to where we know that he's the bad guy, but they don't know. <laughs> so I think there's something up with this when it zooms in on his whistling like that. Just saying. Oh yeah, can't forget this. You trusted Batman, you can trust me. I won't let you fall too far into the dark. I'll catch you. What? Really? Why? You barely know him, you know? I oh my god. <laughs> Babs so. <laughs> though. What the I thought we had a date, you know? Oh my god. That's pretty funny. Um, but it's funny. That made me that made me laugh. <laughs> oh, because we saw the first the first one when he got accidentally stood up. Now it's the opposite. Anyway, but I don't get this last page. Whose text is that? Why is he texting? Why if it's Babs, why are they casually talking about this and not about the awkward date they just missed? I, I really I just don't know. Next is the death maze, you know. <laughs> Raptor and Dick. Are they like BFFs now? Because I really don't trust this guy at all. If Dick falls for that, then he kind of deserves whatever happens. <laughs> Still, I love these colors so, so much that I'm really looking forward to the next one. Next issue, even if it might never get here, 